Do you need healing in your stream design? Then you've come to the right place. What's up guys, Dr. Hills here, your content cleric. Hope you are doing very, very well. Today, we're gonna be making this. And guys, by the way, if you're not already, be sure to follow me over on Twitch. I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at twitch.tv slash Dr. Heels. We'd love to hang out with you sometime. We make content just like this, and we have a great time. So I'll see you over there. First thing you wanna do, like always, is you wanna pull up Canva, okay? And me, I'm gonna go with a 1920 by 1080, so I'm gonna choose presentation, because I know that's the size it is. Uh, you're gonna wanna go and have the file ready. I, I created my Hillbillies logo in Illustrator, um, but whatever you're using, whether it's gonna be an image, uh, a logo, a meme, it can be literally anything you want. You just wanna have it on your computer and ready to go. You're gonna go to your uploads and you're gonna drag it on in there. Um, as you see, I already have mine right here. And so I'm just gonna drag it into my camera and I'm gonna change this background black just so that I can see what's going on in a moment. We're gonna change that color. Um, but not too early and I want to make I'm gonna hold down alt as I shrink it down and then I just want to center it in the screen once I pull in OBS I can make any changes that I need to make um, so now that I have that placed I'm gonna go and grab my sound and so the sound I'm using is from a website called myinstance.com. I'll have it post uh, down below um, and I know that I want a yeehaw sound effect but literally you can use anything uh, you want um, and there's plenty here but say you wanted a uh, Star Wars. I've, I've used these a few for a few things. Star Wars sound effects. You can do uh, a Star Wars blaster, right? Your Chewbacca roars, right? You can use uh, any of these that you would like. Um, but I'm going to go with my Yeehaw sound effects um, because it kind of fits the Hillbillies brand that we're going for. Um, and I know that I want this one right here. Yeah. And that's the one. So all you gotta do is click on it. All you gotta do is click download MP3 and there it is, it's downloaded. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my uploads, I'm gonna go to audio. I um, mean, now what you do is just drag it into here. As you can see, I already have it, so I don't really need to do that. Um, I'm gonna place it right here on top. Yeehaw! And we can see it's three seconds. So that's important because we're gonna set the duration of this to the length of the sound. And so I want it to be three seconds. All right, now, you're probably wondering, well, yeah, but how do you get it to pop up all, all uh, clean like that where there's nothing behind it? Well, that's, that's my trick. Okay, if you watch my other videos, you may already know this trick. Uh, but here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this background, and I'm going to go custom color, and go green, go bright green. And you know you're bright enough when it's hurting your eyes, okay? All right, so now that you have the, the color, the last thing you need to do is animate it in. And so you can click the animate button. You can see some of these are pro, but you still have access to a lot of these um, that are free if you have a free account. But if you want a 30 day free trial of a pro account, I'll have the link down below. Uh, if you sign up using that account, you get 30 days free and it does help out the channel. So I do appreciate it. Um, but you can use any of those. For me, I am gonna actually use, uh, I believe it was Tectonic. Or no, no, I'm gonna use Scrapbook because I like the way that it kind of came in right like that. And uh, there we go. It's actually a little bit different than the last time I did it too. This is pretty cool though. Uh, so you can choose whatever you want. If you want it to neon in, you want it to pop in. I think stomp is nice as well. Uh, but again, I'm gonna go with tectonic and I'm just gonna click download and download it as an MP4 video and wait just a moment for it to download. All right, now that we have it downloaded, our next step is to jump into OBS. And so I'm gonna show you, this is gonna get you a little bit of uh, stream inception, I apologize. And we are streaming, so chat, everyone say hello. Um, and so all I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna hit the plus sign and I'm gonna bring in a media source and we'll say Billy test. All right, actually I already have a Billy test. Uh, we'll say YouTube, okay? Um, all right, from here, you're gonna go to browse and you're gonna load up that file. I know it is in my downloads folder, so I'm gonna grab it right there, Untitled Design, because I forgot to name it. And click open, um, and I think everything is set just the way it needs to be. Yeehaw! And there we go. We see how we have it in. Obviously, we don't want that bright green background. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and go to filters, hit our little plus sign, and go to chroma key. Um, and just like that, now the next time we play it, Yeehaw! it's uh, there. It is. Now, I do apologize as that was very loud. I'm sorry, Raya. I'm sorry, Watson. I forgot to turn it back down. Um, but I also want to advanced audio 
and I want to turn it on so I can hear it when it goes off. So I changed that, I found it, Hillbilly YouTube, monitor and output. I also apologize in the edit, I'll try to edit down the sound so it's not so loud. I apologize to everyone else who's in stream though, because <laughs> it was very loud for you guys. So uh, yes, if I play it again, Yee there we go. And just like that, it's done. Now you probably want to find a way to trigger it. And so an easy way to trigger it is to just go into your settings, go to your hotkeys, um, and find whatever that is. So for me, it's game test two. So I'm gonna scroll through all my scenes here. There it is, game scene two, find it. Um, and you can see my old, the one I'm actually using is is at 12, F12. Um, and you can make this whatever you want. Make this a keyboard shortcut. Um, for me, I'm gonna make it like my insert key, right? Uh, insert. And so obviously if you have a stream deck, you can key it to something on your stream deck, but if you don't just key it to a key on your keyboard that you're likely not going to use uh, during a game. And so now I'm just going to move this over here. So if you want to play it now, all I got to do is smash my insert key. And just like that, welcome to the hillbillies. Um, and the only thing about this is you'll notice that once you've played it, um, it is still active. And so you'll actually have to press your insert key again to turn it back off. In a stream deck, you can automate that by using a hotkey, delay, and then a hotkey. So set up the hotkey to be insert or whatever you want it to be. Um, then add a delay about three to five seconds or was it 5,000 milliseconds? Um, and then add the, it to press that key again after the delay and then everything's automated. Um, but it's absolutely not necessary. You don't need the stream deck. And right now you'll see at the press of a button. Yee Welcome to the hillbillies. Hope you were doing well. And then I press it again just to turn it back off and you'll get used to doing that. So you don't have to worry about it. Well, I feel like that was a pretty quick video and I really do hope you learned something and that you can implement this into your own stream. Uh, if you do, be sure to post it down below in the comments. You can actually post your stream down below. I'd love to check it out and see uh, what of this you are using. If you're not already, you wanna learn more stuff like this, follow me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash drhills. Again, I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Also put out tutorials and videos just like this using free software to up your streaming game uh, pretty much every week. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications and I will see you next time. Wait, wait just a, just a minute. Did you hate when you're exporting, you think you're almost done and then you notice something's off? How dare you?